Camera comparison videos, one of the most interesting and informative concept of tech videos that have been invented till date. And yeah, these are also the videos which get the most engagement on my channel at least because people love to see the camera comparison between two good smartphones because camera has been one of the major deciding factor in purchasing a smartphone from 2019 onwards and 2020 being a pandemic year people focused more on the camera capabilities of smartphone more than ever and this time also it's the same case i am having the all new launched redmi note 10 pro max and who can be the better opponent for the Pro Max apart from the other Pro Max available in the market. So I am comparing the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max with the iPhone 12 Pro Max and let's see who comes out as the winner and you can already watching the video capabilities of both the devices and also the microphone capabilities of both the devices. Both the phones are shooting this particular video at, at this particular second at 4K resolution at 30 frames per second and I am switching the audio between these two devices simultaneously. So you can clearly judge who is better in audio and whose audio is better. And yes, for the information of the tech nerds, I have disabled the HDR option on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's a normal 4K 30fps video and on the Xiaomi is also there's no AI or auto HDR or auto beautify. That type of things are off only 4K 30 FPS video, no uh, third party stabilization, nothing is provided apart from these two devices just shooting 4K video at 30 frames per second. So now let's move forward from the video and explore all the photos and let's see who emerges out as the winner and does the Redmi 10 Pro Max has enough juice in it to compete with the likes of the iPhone 12 Pro Max? Let's find out. Okay, so these are all the shots taken with both the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And you can clearly see from the beginning only that the photos of the iPhone 12 Pro Max looks a little bit on the warmer side and for me i'll not say it's on the warmer side but i'll use the word natural because you can see the photos and in the photos the photos of the redmi note 10 pro max are a little bit oversaturated and also a little bit higher in contrast i don't know why these companies are always putting higher contrast and saturation values maybe to enhance the photos but it has been always like that with the budget phone so I'll not complain a lot and both of these photos are captured with the primary lenses of both of these smartphones for the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max I have used the primary lens which is the 108 megapixel lens and for the iPhone 12 Pro Max I have used the wide angle lens which is the primary lens which is the 12 megapixel lens if we compare with the megapixel count then xiaomi win by a clear big huge margin but if we see the photos now the photos of the iphone are more natural and for me the iphone emerges out to be the winner in 95 percent of the photos five percent you can say that Redmi is winning but not winning but giving a tough competition to the iphone to be honest and you can see the photos clearly one other thing that I noticed is that the photos of the iPhone 12 Pro Max are a little bit more zoomed in. The photos of the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max are a little bit uh, wider and the photos of the iPhone 12 Pro Max are a little bit zoomed in. But apart from that, as I told you, you can clearly see I have been in the garden and all the leaves, the color of the trees, the color of flowers, of the wood, all seems to be higher saturated and all seems to be at the higher contrast rate so i'll not be the judge of that now i'll leave all of this upon you to judge and you can clearly see the quality difference and the camera difference as well in the selfie camera also the difference is clearly visible for me i think the selfie camera is the camera which is showing us why the iphone 12 pro max is almost 1 lakh rupees higher in price than the redmi note 10 pro max even though both the devices are the pro max 
in their own company but you can clearly see in the selfie camera the selfies of the redmi note 10 pro max are completely artificial i'll say you know the skin tones all the other things the contrast is also higher in this one look at the selfies of the iphone it's clearly more natural way more natural the colors are way more natural a uh, little bit neutrally saturated and the skin tones are not artificial i'll say that because i look a way more whiter i don't complain that i look whiter but it's a way lot and it certainly looks artificial than the iPhone 12 Pro Max and also please ignore my messy hair. Alright, so this is a video sample of the front cameras of both the devices, the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the Redmi 10 Pro Max. I can't see at both of the devices at the same time, so pardon me for my moving eyes, but you can clearly judge the video quality, which device is having a better, vi a better video quality and which device is having the better sound quality as well by judging this video of the front cameras of both these devices. All right, so this is it. This is the camera comparison for the two Pro Max of our smartphone industry. Earlier, it was the competition that who is the better Pro among all the devices because the companies were mainly focusing on launching the Pro models because they think their every Pro model means professional for every consumer, but that was not the case and so is now. The Pro Max models are not the Pro Max for all the customers and I know you will say that the iPhone 12 Pro Max is a very expensive device and it's an iPhone, it's an Apple product so surely the camera will be better but I have really enjoyed and I really loved to see the competition that the budget segment is presenting in the form of the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max. Though it's not the best, it's not perfect, it's not better than the iPhone 12 Pro Max and it lacks so many things but in the price segment at the price of rupees 20,000 the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max packs a really really good camera and if you are looking for a device with a good camera in that price range then I'll surely recommend you to go with the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max. I'm not doing this for review units or any of that stuff. I give my honest opinions, my honest reviews and I showed you the camera comparison as well. And you can also tell me by which other device I should do the camera comparison of the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max. I have already done the camera comparison with one other device. So stay tuned for that camera comparison video as well because that camera comparison video justifies uh, the like the originality or justifies the uh, video as well so keep waiting and keep supporting the channel i hope you like this video and if you have any type of stuff to ask regarding the cameras of any of these devices do ask me in the comment section below or in the social media handles as well i have attached all my social media handles below in the comment section and I hope you like this video and if you like my work and would like to support the channel going forward, do subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with me. For the time being, goodbye guys and I will see you all in the next video really really soon.